Friends, denizens of the internet, hello, welcome back to another exciting episode of Death Stranding Director's Cut. When we last left off, we were in a cutscene, and again, want to apologize for these really quick, just uh, the cutscenes at the end of this game are going to be long and verbose, so I kind of have to cut episodes off in the middle of them sometimes. Uh, apologies, but hey, when you're playing a Kojima game with 30 minute long cutscenes, that's what you got to do. Anyway. What happened? The chiral network dropped out. According to Lakna, it won't be long before it's completely unusable. So all our hard work was for nothing. Let me finish what I was saying, sir. I'll tell him. Fraja, you look like shit. You should be resting. I know. I need to tell you something. I had a little chat with Higgs back on the beach. Didn't take much to make him talk. He say why he betrayed you. He said it was part of her plan. What? She was their leader. The terrorist void outs, the whole extinction agenda. Amelie was behind it all. Like how she was? I know you don't want to believe it, but it lines up with what Die Hard Man said. Higgs turned on me after he met Amelie. At first, he was looking to expand his territory, and I had a power he could use. At least, that's how he ended up working with me. He was no terrorist. He just wanted to reach more people. But then she shows up with abilities that put mine to shame. Hell, she could even control BTs. So Higgs decides to go with her. And that's when she turned him into her agent of extinction. Amelie gave Higgs his power? Yep. She made him her homo demons. What about Bridget? You could have tell me what she was doing on the beach? You got an answer for that, too? I know it's a lot to swallow. But he said himself that Amelie is an extinction entity. I looked inside his pod, and there was no BB in there. Take a good look at what was. It's the same doll Die Hard Man had. This is their bridge baby. There's this idea that the terrorists brought back BB Tech and Bridges was just following suit. It's garbage. Their methods and yours are completely different. Your BB links you to the world of the dead. Their doll links them to Amelie and her beach. You know who else had dolls like this? Cliff. He was carrying them on the battlefields. Cliff. Higgs. The director, all three of them were drawn in and controlled by this extinction entity. And who is this EE -E really? Is it Rigid? Is it Amelie? All I can say is that the answers are on the beach. What she wants and why. If we get to the bottom of that, then maybe we can still avert the last stranding. You've got to find her, Sam. Whoever she really is. She's waiting for you on the beach. Hurry back east. Uh, I think they were good. End of cutscene, yes. Oh. Oh. Sam, the connection's unstable, so I'll keep this short. We have a job for you. Fragile's condition is deteriorating. If she slips into a coma, there's a chance her soul might become stranded on the beach. She needs cryptobiotes fast. Luckily for us, Fragile Express keeps a stockpile there in Port North City. So we'd like you to grab some for us while you're in the area. All the details are on the terminal upstairs. Please, Sam, this is critical. I mean, Die Hard Man, this is always critical. Uh, wait, what do you want from me? <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Thanks, Sam. All right, so, as it turns out, everything we thought we knew was totally uh, incorrect. And uh, what we do know is that we don't know anything, oddly enough. That's great. Oh, this game and its uh, extravagant storyline. Uh, either way, I guess... Uh, Sam, how gross are you? You're looking pretty gross. Why don't you, uh, why don't you grab a shower, Sam? 
And we're gonna skip this because we don't need Sam Porter Bridges butt. And we're good on that. Yep, the five cutscenes to skip this. <laughs> Alright, now we're all clean again. Let's get up on out of here. We having a flashback this time? That was probably the the most light-hearted one of those where I think we're gonna be getting. <laughs> Sam, check the terminal for available orders. Yeah, you you were very clear about that, uh, Dead Man. I I would have would have done that. I was gonna say. So you saying we got all kinds of stuff in our private locker, but no, we don't. Okay. Well. We can get rid of... Actually, you know, we might as well just recycle stuff. We're going to be doing that. Oh. Can't do that, apparently. Okay. What do you got? Crypto bio delivery, capital, not city, isolation ward. Okay. We're heading all the way back home. Maybe we can do that hemetic grenade trial while we're at it. <laughs> um, yeah. We'll take the take somebody else's bike. Why not? Stolen. Don't forget, that container isn't airtight. You can't afford to submerge it, even partially. Oh, that's the weird restriction, but okay. So I kind of want to. We're we're gonna we're not gonna need these armor plates, and I'd like to swap out all of our assault rifles back up to uh, level three. Let's see, let's see if we can make that happen, or if we're still grayed out on the recycling here. Yep. Yeah, we cannot... Oh, we can't fabricate anything either. Oh. I assume that's because the, um... The Kyrillium network being all wibbly-wobbly. Do we need blood bags? Uh, yeah. We can at least swamp out that mostly empty one for this not mostly empty one. Alright, so we're just kind of uh, carrying what we're carrying and that's all we got. Sounds good. Let's hit it, I guess. You know what? Thanks, ugly brute, for your bike. I'm gonna give you some likes. How many likes? Oh, just so many friggin' likes. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Now, if I recall, we're... Oh. We're pretty far from where we need to be, but because this is, like, the early game... It should be pretty straightforward, all things considered. So, we're gonna go... Oh. Up through the mountains. Uh, let's go. Let's go that way. Yeah, let's take that to there, and we'll see how far we get. After that, it should be pretty, pretty straightforward. Shouldn't need really the the markers to get us there at that point. Oh, it's raining. We've been getting near constant timefall in this region for a while. As a result, 
everything you've built for us out here has been completely destroyed. The good news is, we managed to recover all cargo stored on site and transferred it to the capital non-city distro center. As for the not-so-good news, Cairo printers are currently unusable due to the network instability. Given the circumstances, you might want to consider turning to your fellow porters for assistance. But I'll leave that up to you, Sam. I'm sure you'll come through for us. You always do. You darn tootin'. But seeing there's kind of a network of uh, zip lines and stuff, but nah, this is straightforward. Let's just get up on it. After spending so much, oh geez, Let's say it's straightforward and then immediately fail at doing it. After so many weeks spent up in the snowy mountains and a little rocky field, should be no big deal. I like how they say everything's been destroyed. Oh, that's unfortunate. Come on, come on, Sam. We can't, can't wait for them. Oh, I see the giant floating BTs. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ignore them and we'll be fine, I think. Maybe. Oh, there's a lot of them. Why is there so many? There's a lot, like just a whole bunch. Come on, Sam, Sam. I'm gonna need you to try a little bit here. Oh, this is getting dicey. Yep, I don't know what that's doing, but it's probably not good. To, uh, chose poorly. Move down here. I don't remember it being this complex to come through here before. Oh, it's a bumpy boy. Yep, yeah, here we go. Dang you, mossy rocks. Oh, even more rocks. Okay. Oh, there we go. Gotta tap it. Just tap it in. That's a spice. See? It's just that easy, Sam. No big deal. Oh, that's a big deal. Alright, you wanna go? You wanna tussle with the muscle? Yeah. Yeah, what's up now? Ain't like I had grenade launcher, did you? But I do. Oh, that is terrifying. I see you swimming around out there, yeah? Show me that pretty face. Oh, there it is. Ah, I'm so broke. I like how the mountain is just casually floating behind me there. That's that's probably alright. I think I have enough bullets or enough grenade rounds to do this. We might as well just see if we can solve this the old-fashioned way. With grenades. Stranding that. <laughs> I'm gonna go back and get the bike in a second. I just want to pick up all these Cairo crystals. Whoa. Yeah, BB. You wave. You wave goodbye to those suckers. We don't need them. 
Pick up all the crystals. They make me floaty. I really um. Alright. Yeah, before I was so rudely interrupted. Yeah, BB, I know. I just, I need to go get the bike. The, the, they made me drop the bike back here, BB. In fact, Sam tuck and rolled off the bike for some strange reason. He could have just got off and that would have been fine, but no, he had to tuck and roll. Thanks, BB. Oh yeah, the real issue here is that at some point we're gonna have to cross this river and we can't let our package get wet at all, apparently. Which doesn't sound like a big deal, but I'm thinking they're gonna make it out to be a big deal. And the container is damaged, so we're, we're really running out of time for this, too. Although I think that's, uh, maybe we can find a time pole shelter at some point. That would be good. Alright, that was a little bit of water. Apparently that wasn't a bad thing. Just a little water's okay. Still no time fall shelters. Oh, there's one. Oh, of course, it's on the side of the river I just... Oh, Sam, 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 Sam! What are you doing? Why, Sam? Sam just drives the bike directly into the water. What was that all about? Well, I guess we're leaving that there. I don't know why he did that. That's another one of those things where I say, if you ever hear me complain about the the controls being a little awkward in the game, that's because the game doesn't always control like it's supposed to. Now, there are a lot of things in this game that are momentum-based, so you're designed to not like be able to instantly stop on a dime or make a sharp left turn with 10 feet of car going in the back without it falling over. But... Like, a, a bike should stop. Oh, it's ruined. No. A bike should stop when you hit stop. Or at least slow down. Like, that didn't even slow down. It just... Just kept going. Oh, crap. No. Get your grabby hands off me. Don't touch me! No, nope, don't go any nearer to that. That's bad. Double jump? You didn't expect the double jump, did you? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, alright, well. Go, Sam, go! It's right there! It's right there, Sam. Yes, make the crypto bio container strong again. Or not. <laughs> now, did that fully heal it, or...? Oh, it did, okay. And it's only mostly damaged. That's fine. That's okay. The permanent time fall really, uh... Oh, ho, ho, wow, that's a big one! Holy crap, that is terrifying. You're getting you're getting the, the boomstick here. Yeah, that's that's gonna haunt my dreams. Oh, 
you know, I don't recall having this much trouble doing this the last time I played the, the game. Maybe it's, uh, it's more challenging in the director's cut? Maybe they found it wasn't challenging enough in the original version of the game. Because it wasn't really. In, in all honesty, this last run home was more of a kind of fun, relaxing trip than it was anything else. Because you can come through and it, move through these areas that, like, previously you had to be very careful going through. No, oh, Sam. Oh. Oh, Sam. Oh. That's, uh, okay, I don't think that qualified as being submerged. I think we're all right. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not exactly sure about that, but much like the antimatter bomb. Ooh, there's the Aurora Borealis again. Um, we didn't have a definitive game over for no reason, so it should be okay. Oh, hi, mules. Why is there one all the way over there? That's crazy. Just let me get to this zip line. Come on, zip line. Containers damaged again already. Crap. Zip line time, he was at, uh, zip the other end. Okay, there we go. Keep an eye out for time fall shelters. There's one. Hi, Mama. Okay, bye. Slip rounds coming in handy there. First time all game. Come on, Sam, keep it moving. Gotta, gotta get to the time fall shelter before uh dang container gets heavily damaged again. Looks like our best bet probably to cross right there. Let's grab uh, Bridges Energy while we're sitting here. Slam it down. Mmm, delicious. Wish I would have had a uh, pair of the speed skeleton laying around. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Like, while we do get a boost from the all-terrain skeleton while running, it's nowhere near as effective as the the other one. Come on. Sam? Sam? I get it. It's just hanging in the air, but come on now. There we go. Ladder. Good. Almost there. Oh, don't mind if I do. Let's boogie. I just don't understand why they would make the bike so fast in boost mode that, like, the, the game itself doesn't know what to do with it. It always slays me. They're like, how about we make the bike insanely fast? Well, how insane? Like, oh, just like the insaniest of insanes. Sam, why did you jump off? Nobody asked you to jump off, Sam. Oh crap, there's a bunch of them. Alright, alright, I 
think maybe we should just take the safe way this time. That sounds about right. Sam, I'm gonna need you to climb up that. Yeah, I'll make me shoot you in the face too, huh? Yeah, what's up now? Sam, I'm gonna need you to move away from the giant lizard with squid tentacles on its face. Oh, Sam, you had that. Come on. Didn't eat your Wheaties today? So you can pull up the gun and aim it, and then you just you just don't do that. Yeah, looks like I got away. Is, is that what we're gonna call it? Okay. Definitely looks like something happened. Or like I almost died. Yes, Lou, I know. It's terrible. Probably not good as it sounds like the earth is going to rip in half. It's probably not ideal. Double jump? Another double jump here. You know, double jump. The totally normal thing that everybody can do. I wish I could double jump. That'd be great. Alright, so. What awaits us at Capital Not City? Well. Oh, more of this. That's what awaits us at Capital Not City. You know, I was literally two seconds away from saving the game. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Alright, well, we should probably run away from that as fast as our little Sam Porter Bridge's legs will carry us. I mean, Sam, this is where you draw the line of stuff that's weird. This. Ooh, quadruple rocket launcher. Yeah, come on. where it is. Alright, come on, you giant whale squid. No, you want me to move, huh? Okay.
Oh, that thing is just huge. Why are you so large and in charge? that was but it sounded bad why is it gold there oh somebody's throwing me some weaponry cool not weird at all oh, oh, oh. oh area destroyed an explosion <laughs> okay well that's gonna be all of the time I have for this episode today uh, as we were ultimately vaporized. So that being said, if you enjoyed the video today, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, get subscribed. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about my gameplay, my commentary, or anything else in general. That being said, thanks for watching, and as usual, I'll catch you all on the flip side.